Hello Taurus, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your next love coming towards you reading and everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. We are inviting your angels, spirit guides, and ancestors to come in and assist us with this reading today. All right, Taurus, let's take a look and see what we have going on for you guys. We have the Two of Swords. The Two of Cups. The Four of Swords. Knight of Pentacles. The Tower. In this deck, they call it Transformation, which I really like. And the Eight of Wands. Gonna be honest, I did this series, Taurus, in hopes that maybe we could get some new energy, um, you know, new love for some people here, but it looks like your next love coming towards you is a past person, okay? We got two twos here as well. So whoever this is, they're in a space of needing to make some kind of major decision. I feel like they've been in this for a while. We have this Knight of Pentacles energy. Just kind of feels like being at a standstill. Knight of Pentacles is a card of planning and strategizing, figuring out what the next step is. And this, the way that she's holding on to this coin here, it kind of reminds me of the Four of Pentacles when they're really like holding on to that coin. I kind of feel like there's something that this person is really holding on to. Now this could be something that was said, something that was done. This could be you in general. Maybe that's what they're really holding on to. Um, it could just be some kind of anger or hurt or resentment that they're having a hard time getting past. And maybe that's why they're in this kind of conflicted space. Okay. Their overall energy towards you. We have the eight of, or the, I'm sorry, the five of cups disappointment, regret, sadness. So I feel like somebody is kind of regretting some choices here and it's with this eight of cups. So this person could have walked away from you with that eight of cups energy here. Now we have this four of pentacles. Now they could be worried that you're closed off to them or now that they're, they're realizing that even though they walked away from you, I feel like they're still kind of holding on to you. Like I said, for some of you guys, it's not you. It's the, something that happened, right? They're holding on to some kind of anger, hurt or resentment. Something that was said, you know, having a hard time moving past from. But I do feel like, if, especially for this, for those of you where this person was the one that walked away from you, I feel like somebody's regretting that here. Okay, but they're in this this two space of needing to make a decision. The two of swords, very indecisive, and these are right out on top of each other here. That's how they came out. The two of swords and the knight of pentacles, which both can be kind of a stagnant energy. The Knight of Pentacles at a standstill. The Two of Swords is definitely kind of a stuck, indecisive energy. So I think this person's been thinking about this for a while. That kind of leads me to feel like some of you guys may have been in separation from this person for quite some time or out of communication with this person for quite some time. And I find this interesting as well. So these came out with each other too. We have the Two of Cups and the Tower. So I feel like what somebody's having some major realization about on this deck, they call it transformation and that it says realization, life change and liberation, right? I feel like what somebody's having this like major realization about is the connection that you guys have, the bond that you guys have. I almost kind of feel like for some of you guys, this person kind of thought the grass was greener on the other side or it's like something happened between the two of you, some kind of argument or something was said, something was done and I don't feel like it was something that couldn't have been worked through or couldn't have, you know, been fixed. But I feel like this person kind of, I don't want to say that they tossed away the connection, but it felt like that for you guys. I feel like you felt like they just was easily able to dismiss it or easily able to walk away. Some of you guys, I feel like that's something you were holding on to as well. Okay. Uh, with that holding on energy that we keep seeing here, some of you guys may be feeling that way and holding on to that. So you may have your own your own anger, your own hurts, your own own resentments for what happened between the two of you as well as, you know, the, the separation itself and how that went down. But I do feel like somebody's having some kind of transformative moment. And what, I'm really drawn to how there's this hourglass here. 
on this uh, tower energy. Somebody may feel like they're running out of time or maybe they feel like they've let this go on for too long. Maybe they feel like it's been too much time uh, since you guys have separated. There's definitely something coming up about that here. So we have this Four of Swords energy as well. Four of Swords could definitely be a card of reflection, contemplation. It also just represents, I feel here, the no communication and the separation. But we do have this Eight of Wands. So I definitely see communication. Let's start to clarify a few things. I think we're going to use these. So I guys, this person could struggle with some pride or ego things because I do feel like they have some regrets about walking away here or about whatever went down between the two of you. But I also feel like this person has a hard time saying that. They have a hard time saying that they were wrong. Clarifying this two of swords, we have the four of wands. So... Part of this indecision or indecision on them is them trying to figure out what exactly it is that they want. You know, the Four of Wands is a card of reaching a goal, a finish line. It's an accomplishment, celebration. But it's like, what does that look like? What is the goal? What am I trying to accomplish? What do I really want? And not even just figuring out exactly what they do really want, but also can it be achieved? Can we get back to that place? Can we have that from where we are right now, especially after that energy of after all that time? So tell me about this Knight of Pentacles. Another two. We got the two of wands. Two of wands talks about needing to step outside of a comfort zone and uh, you know make a decision here. On the bottom of this deck, it says your decision decides your future. Nothing else. And that's true here. I feel like somebody knows that it's kind of on them at this point to... If they're wanting this connection with you again, if they're wanting to reconnect, if they're wanting this reconcil reconciliation, they're going to have to take that action. They're going to have to make that decision here. Tell me about this tower energy. Why is that here? Why is the tower here? You got the ten of wands. And the five of swords. I felt that pride kind of ego energy earlier. And on this Five of Swords, it says you can't be right all of the time. I do. I feel like somebody's having a hard time um, admitting that they were wrong. Even here on this Ten of Wands, it says why make things more difficult than they need to be. You know, I feel like somebody is just really having a hard time coming and saying, you know, I left. I was wrong. I should have worked on things or, you know, whatever I did here, I was wrong. You know, I feel like somebody's just really having a hard time getting past their own pride their own ego. I feel like somebody is getting in their own way here. Tell me about this. Tell me about this eight of wands energy. It looks like they're going to get out of their own way, at least enough to reach out here. Tell me about this eight of wands, please. Let's see what this is. We got the knight of wands. So yeah, somebody's moving towards you very quickly here. And the page of wands. So just because you're passionate about it doesn't mean it'll be effortless. So I do feel like that here. We got this Ace of Swords, so definitely going to be communication. The Ace of Swords is also a card of, um, you know, breakthroughs, awarenesses, realizations. It's very positive here. It's very good, clear, open, honest communication. And I do feel like somebody's figuring out what they what they desire, and I feel like they're moving towards you very quickly here. And I do feel like with this Page of Wands coming up the way it did. I feel like they're having this recognition that, you know, it may not be easy to kind of get things back to the way that they used to be or to a good space after this time, but I feel like they're going to be willing to take that chance anyways. Some of you guys, they may even give you a flower here. She's got this rose in her hand, right? She's offering up this flower. Some of you guys may, you know, receive flowers or something of that nature as well from a person kind of as an apology. I also kind of feel like for some of you guys, maybe you used to send them flowers or maybe they always sent you flowers and it's there's like something about that here in between for you. Um, I feel like that's a specific message for a person that's very, you know, that may not resonate for all of you and that's fine. Um, but I definitely feel like that's for somebody. So I would expect this communication here. That, that is what I have for you. I do hope that it helps. If it resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out your other placements. Everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. 
And if you want personal prayers for any reason, just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys for being here and I will see you next time.